We want to welcome our guest here to BCS this morning. This is a true symbol of perseverance, teamwork, and dedication. We gather here today to recognize our push into the 21st century and our mission to be pioneers and blazing new trails for our future. And you're a part of that. So BCS students, this is for you. I'd like to introduce at this time a BCS parent who started this last year and who has worked very, very hard in spearheading this project. And we want to thank him as Mr. John Carlos Carlebaugh. Thank you very much. Uh, I'd like to recognize my family, my two children, uh, Antonio Carvajal and Maria Catalina Carvajal, if they can please come up here. They're the ones that uh, motivate, motivated me to uh, help the school throughout the Detroit, the schools throughout the Detroit metro region. GreenyDetroit.com was created in order to bring opportunities like this one, like this one to our geographic region. I'm happy to tell you that GreenyDetroit.com, along with Unisolar, are in the works in bringing to our BCS students solar panels in order to create a solar, solar cu curriculum all at no cost. Two wind turbines were given here in the state of Michigan, one to our governor for the governor's mansion and one to me for the children here at BCS. Let me leave you here telling you a little bit about this very special wind turbine. Your wind turbine. This wind turbine was brought to you by a Michigan company, by Michigan Dad, was manufactured here in Michigan by Michigan workers, Installed, assembled, and erected by Michigan Unionized Labor for Michigan children. For Michigan BCS children. <laughs> BCS students, to show you how important this is, we have one of Governor Granholm's closest employees. He's the director of Michigan. Department of Labor and Economic Growth, and we are very honored to have him here at BCS, and that is Mr. Skip Proust. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Do you know how cool this is and how special you are? Yes! yes. 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 If today, if today, if you were standing in Copenhagen, Denmark, in front of their city offices, you would see four of these. If you were in Washington, D.C. today, in front of the Botanical Gardens in Washington, D.C., you would see two of these. The governor's mansion, as Mr. Carlos said, she has one of these also. And now you have one of those. These are very special, and you're very lucky. And um, we have to say thank you to all of these good people who are involved in making these projects happen. Because this is great for you, it's great for the school, and it's great for the community. So let's give them a round of applause. So the governor sent a letter today that I'm going to read. It's a short letter, so I won't take a lot of time reading it. Okay, but I one more point here. You kids are so lucky. What you're doing is so cool. Your concentration on science and math means that you're going to be part of this future. And we need you. In the next 40 or 50 years, we're going to be transitioning. We're going to be moving to clean energy. The energy that's powered by the sun and by the wind. Which is free. It's everywhere. You don't have to buy fuel. And it's clean. It doesn't pollute. And you are the kids as you go through school and go through college and become engineers and teachers and scientists, you are the ones who are going to be part of this change. And it's going to be great. So thank you. So, Governor Granholm wanted to be here today, and unfortunately she could not. But she sent a letter to Dr. David Larson and to Mr. John Carlos. 
and let me read it to you. Dear Mr. Carlos and Dr. Larson, I'm sorry I'm, I'm uh, unable to attend today's celebration, but I wanted to say congratulations for your dedication to teaching our children the importance of alternative energy and protecting Michigan's future. By doing so, you are reinforcing the path Michigan is taking as a leader in the new global clean energy economy. These efforts to diversify Michigan's economy by providing job-creating clean energy solutions for the world have drawn international acclaim and with good cause. Forward-thinking partnerships like yours will ensure greater opportunities for Michigan citizens. The state's economic future is brighter and greener as a result of these efforts. I am a strong advocate for making Michigan more energy efficient, which is the cheapest means to meet our energy needs, not to mention it producing pollution. I commend your efforts with the Rouge Education Project and the Siemens We Can Change the World Challenge, and I'm especially pleased to hear of your recently completed Windspire, which looks very similar to the one at my residence. I am proud to say Michigan is, a, is now home to over 80 companies in the wind energy sector, and that a number of that number continues to grow rapidly. As I've said before, Michigan will lead the green industrial revolution and it will begin with the education and awareness of you, our children. Congratulations and best wishes. Uh, we, Mr. Harley, we are now going to cut the ribbon. Yeah. 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 Yeah.